Alrighty, so this is going to be a reading for my Aries for June 2019. Thank you guys so much for joining me back on my channel. We're going to go ahead and see what the energy is looking like for you guys, okay? Aries for June 2019. Aries for June 2019. And if you're new to my channel, definitely make sure you hit that subscribe button so that you can stay up to date with my messages in the future. And if you're interested in getting a personal reading done by me, definitely make sure you check out my website. It is in the description box. That's also where you guys can purchase your crystal healing jewelry um, and other things as well. And also my Oracle deck that I just released as well. So definitely make sure you check that out. All right, Aries. We got the nine of cups. So I am seeing that you guys are going to be in a good emotional space as far as um, wishes coming true and you guys just feeling emotionally content with yourself as well. Aries for June 2019. Alrighty. So let's go ahead and lay these cards out. Okay, guys. So current self coming into June, the theme of the month for you guys, the energy surrounding your love life, the obstacle, the energy surrounding money, what to avoid, what to change, and advice for the whole entire month. Alrighty, Aries. So let's go ahead and unpack these cards, okay? So the first card is representing the your current self, excuse me, for June 2019. And we do have the Three of Wands. So with the Three of Wands, this is you guys really turning your back on things uh, that really just don't serve you anymore. And you guys being more forward focused, waiting for some sort of change to come in for some of you guys you could be waiting for like new love to come in you could be also waiting for like just new opportunities to come in or for some of you guys you may already know that something is coming up for you guys you could be in that energy of okay just being more um cautious and like you're planning as far as the long term like for some of you guys you may be wanting to travel and you may be making some preparations to do so for others of you like I said this is more of you guys making preparations for um maybe like a new creative project that you may be starting um or like I said waiting for some new love to come in but definitely looking towards the future and also trying to plan for the future um when it comes to opportunities here when it comes to the theme of the month for you guys, we do have the four of wands. So with the four of wands here, a lot of you guys, um, stability, uh, you guys feeling a sense of stability, especially if you are like an entrepreneur and, um, you have like a creative pursuit that you do that does bring you a sense of finances. This may be, um, like you guys focusing on making sure that you're building a sense of stability through this creativity for others of you as well. This is, um, you guys like getting a sense of stability within your relationships, possibly with like a twin flame connection or just like I said your sense of stability and comfortability as well with the four of wands yeah and the eight of wands as well so for some of you guys this could be you traveling like I said to find a place where you guys can feel comfort and feel as if you can settle down there especially if you are trying to move um, for others of you, this is like you guys, uh, really just, like I said, focusing on that sense of stability with all these opportunities coming in for you guys. The next card here, we do have the energy surrounding your love life and we do have the emperor. And with this, I really feel like a lot of you Aries are taking this stance of really focusing on yourself and just being like a boss, like just being, in this boss mentality, taking care of your responsibilities. And for a lot of you guys, I just feel like you guys have your love life under control under this. How do I say this? 
you guys have your love life under control due to the fact that you may be like genuinely not participating in your love life like just not interested in it for others of you this is just like you being controlled when it comes to your emotional needs or you having control over your connection with possibly a water sign or another aries or a taurus i thought i saw something else that i wanted to say but moving forward <laughs> Um, when it comes to the obstacles that you may encounter for this month, I do have the four of coins and with the four of coins being here, this is just you guys having this energy of being kind of reserved, not really wanting to open up to people, um, especially like sexually, like being kind of closed off. Um, in that sense for others of you, this is just like you guys holding back, um, a lot as well when it comes to investing your time, energy, and effort into situations. And also with this, this may be issues with you guys actually saving your finances. So make sure that you guys are staying on top of that and that you're not being um, too spendthrift with your finances as well. What I'm seeing here though for the energy surrounding money, we do have the justice card. And with this, I really feel like you guys are going to be handling your finances, like I said, making a lot of uh, issues right, especially if there was like some issues financially, I feel like you guys are going to be putting things in place. And I am seeing that a lot of you guys are, like I said, going to be in a good financial place as far as like um, putting, like I said, putting things in place or putting things in order. Uh, especially if you do have like some financial responsibilities that you did need to take care of. And for some of you guys as well, this is like you guys signing contracts to finally like boost your financial, um, well-being as well for some of you guys. But the next card I do want to cover, this is the energy surrounding what you guys do need to avoid and we do have the four swords clarified by the eight of pentacles and i was just about to say this you guys need to make sure this week that you or not this week this month that you guys don't get lazy and that you guys um kind of sit back too much you definitely want to make sure that you're staying on top of your responsibilities especially when it comes to work especially if you are like self-employed or something of that sort you definitely do want to make sure that you're staying on top of your financial responsibilities and for some of you guys as well like even your health making sure that you are like working out or taking care of yourself as well and not getting too lazy all righty and the next card i want to cover um we do have the Ten of Wands. Also with this, before we go on, sorry. Also when it comes to like situations that you put on pause, I wouldn't go back to those situations as well. Definitely make sure that um, you're being wise when it comes to situations as far as like people, um, especially if people have done you wrong, um, making sure that you don't go back to that as well. But going back to this card what you guys do need to change i do have the ten of wands and with this this is you guys needing to make sure that you're not carrying too much of a load on your back um especially if you are like an entrepreneur making sure that you're not putting too much work on your plate or that you're delegating your tasks in the right way so that you don't feel overwhelmed um also making sure as well that you're not taking on anybody else's baggage or that you are clearing out your baggage um clearing out your baggage clearing out your energy as far as like having um how do I say this like holding on to stuff that may have happened with other people and still carrying that and making it hard for you to kind of push forward if that makes sense so definitely make sure that you aren't holding on to burdens that don't serve you anymore especially if it is situations uh, with people or just too much work on your plate and then the last card I do want to cover, this is going to cover the advice for the whole entire month. And we have the five of cups here. So with the five of cups, uh, Aries for the whole entire month, I feel like it is very important for you guys to be forward focused. Stop focusing on things that already went wrong or um, kind of passed already. You do want to make sure that you're looking at new opportunities, especially when it comes to love. Stop going back to past people who uh, may have had other people involved or weren't really giving you their main focus emotionally and make sure that you're looking at uh, the future and what the universe already has in front of you and is trying to create as opportunities for you as well. 
So that's what I'm seeing for you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope that I was able to provide some sort of clarity and guidance to you guys. And again, if you do want a personal reading, definitely make sure you check out that link below. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye, guys. Uh, hold on, guys.